That's always the goal. Execute, play Alabama football, and, and you know, do our job. How would you assess your performance tonight? I mean, we won, so that's. I'll take a W any day. Specifically, you though, how do you think you played? I'm really happy we won, actually. <laughs> great team, great team win. Sean Evans gave you all a five. Is that too harsh? A five on what? Out of ten. A five out of performance, like out of ten. Mm. That's, his, that's his opinion. Jalen, how, how did it feel to get uh, Josh Jacobs involved in the passing game? Um, you know, a player like that, you always want to give him the ball and and um, allow him to make plays. You know, we have a lot of playmakers on our team and we want to. Know, get them in a position to make those plays that we know they can make. What did you see them throw to Cam Sims? Um, just went through my progression. You know, he came open and I delivered the ball to him and let him make let him make the play. You know, fans see 66 points and they go, oh, well, we're so awesome. You see it differently because you know what you did right, what you did wrong. How do you think, I mean, how do you see how you did tonight? What, what do you uh, I mean, there, there's always room to improve. Um, I mean, you know, we want to go out there and execute. I say that all the time. And there were times where we didn't execute. I mean, you know, the last two games, I think we've had a lot of penalties. And we usually don't, we haven't had those. Um, and, you know, a lot of missed opportunities early in the game. And, you know, we, we just want to capitalize on every opportunity we have. You know, if we have the ball, we, we want to go score. And I think that's what we need to get to, you know, doing that. What sort of relationship do you have with Tua during the game? Like conversations when he's in, maybe when the defense is in, and he's going to go back in on offense. Just like advice wise, what do you got to um, do? I mean, when he's in, I want him to play the best game he can possibly play. Uh, I want him to be in the best situation to make the play. I want him to be smart with the ball, just kind of little reminders, you know, just making sure that he's thinking the right thing. I mean, at the end of the game, protect the ball, you know, play you. I mean, play your, play your game, be you, let it come naturally, but protect the ball and be productive and efficient. Jalen, how much do you think Coach Dable's play calling has evolved throughout the season? Um, well, I think that that comes with the with the more so him being more comfortable now, and you know he's going to get comfortable throughout the season. I mean, everybody gets comfortable throughout the season with the reps and the opportunities you get to you know do what you do. So I think you know we just have to continue to take positive strides as an offense. How comfortable did you feel out there? Just seeing there were certain plays that just came easy. Um, I just try and go out there and play. Um, you know, don't think too much. Try and read and react Amy and just play here. play ball. Jalen, how 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 do you feel for the team? I know they were mobbing it for Ronnie Clark to get in the end zone. Um, yeah, he's been here. He's been here for a while, and it's always good to see a player like that get in the end zone. Just like Hill Henderson and Robert Foster getting, getting guys like that the ball. It's always good. Does this team have an identity yet? And if so, what is it? Um, I mean, we, we just, our, our goal as a team is to go out there and dominate. And that's just what we want to do. Um, and we just have to do it consistently. In your role as quarterback of this team, you've met all kinds of children, you know, with injuries and illnesses and stuff like that. How much do you really think about Cam? Uh, he passed away, I guess, yesterday. And I guess a little girl you met on the sidelines prior to the game. Um, How much are they on your mind? Cam, I, I met him maybe last year, and I, you know, in the last two weeks, I probably went to visit him four, four to five times, and I, I built a relationship with him. I always, I always give him my earrings, I always, you know, give him the little band I, um, sweat band I have, and I wear, you know, just to show that you know, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing for him, and and he's on my mind for sure. And, and he's a strong kid. He was a strong kid, and you know, he taught me a lot. When I'm down or something or something's on my mind, you know, just be strong and get through it because Cam did. So why can't I? Before you arrived in Tuscaloosa, did you ever imagine you would be in that position where, with the, these kids looking up to you like they are? Um, I think everything happens for a reason. You know, I never say what will happen. I never say what won't happen. But I think you know, God will never put somebody in a situation that they can't handle. And I just try and you know, do the right thing. And, you know, I love affecting people when I can, positively, so I just kind of being myself. What's been the key to you guys getting into such good starts in games? Um, just coming out and executing. You know, we, we really prepare, we do a good job of preparing you know, for our opponent dur during the week. We work hard in practice. We feel really confident coming into the game as far as you know, the material we're going to run. And um, that's always the goal, come out and start fast. Is there something different? 
about this year's been in that respect compared to the last year's team? Um, no, just um, a little bit more experience. And I said it in the offseason. We have a lot of guys returning, and you know, a lot of key guys, whether it be the quarterback position, receiver position, um, running back position. I mean, a lot of guys from the old line are back from last year. I mean, that, that helps, and I think it kind of shows. How special next week be returning to the Houston area, especially after everything that's happened? Um, it, it'll be it, it'll be um, uh, another game. I'm trying to go one and zero every week. Um, obviously, I'll be going home for the first time, and who knows how long. But I mean, I'm gonna enjoy this one for 24 hours, and when the time comes, we'll, we'll get ready to play in there. You got a lot of people there excited to see you play. Um, it'll be some people there. It'll be some people there. When, when you're on the sidelines, you know, and Levi gets those two picks. You, you know, how do you how do you find out that he got those picks? Do you hear the crowd cheering? Does someone come over and tell you what, what's sort of going through your head? Well, if we're not, you know, at the moment, if we're not you know, going over what we're going to do the next drive or whatever it is with Coach, you know, we'll probably peek at the TV and, you know, you see him make a play like that, and that's that's a big momentum shifter for sure. So what were you thinking? Just happy for him? It's a good play, yeah. I mean, he had two interceptions in the game. That's great for him. What's yeah, feeling like after a game like this to see? Happy, or is he trying to keep you guys from from getting too uh, um, happier? I mean, we don't say Coach Saban is Coach Saban, but you don't you don't. Uh, I mean, we got, we're going to enjoy it for 24 hours. Jalen, this was uh, maybe the most complete offense, defense, special teams game, or did you see it that way? Um, I mean, uh, we had the ball on the, on the ground a few times. Got a, do better with ball security. Uh, penalties kind of hurt us. We, I mean, we had a few of those, but you know, it's, it's always room to improve. We know we have to go out there and, and work hard this week and watch the tape and, and learn from our mistakes and hopefully don't make them again. So I mean, we're looking forward to, to what the future holds for us. Thanks, Dale. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.